I actually had three of those tortillas. Just big mounds of that pasta inside it, but he's Mexican. Well, that's not exactly how I wanted to start this video! Alex! Why have I been relegated to dealing with Lucas Bloody Werner? I don't want to feel the wern. Thank you very much. Give me back the rotund ladies. I love those chunky mummies, don't you know? Ha ha ha! Damn it! Fine! Whatever. I suppose we can have some fun with it. Although there isn't a word for someone who uses a singular study on mice and their telomeres to justify his unquenching desire for Generation Z girlfriends while simultaneously using democratic socialism or at least cherry-picking sections to also complain about meagophobia, calling all Gen Z ladies bigots unless they lay with him, and so on and so on. This list is rather long. Much like those telomeres, eh, ladies? <laughs> right, so, um, he's at a friend's house here, weeing up the back of the toilet seat. Great, wonderful. <laughs> oh no, what's next? Oh, so a bit of a backstory, I suppose, for those interested. Although you could go watch Alex's fantastic video telling Lucas elongated telomeres Werner story instead, if you wish. Link below. But okay, so Lucas, Mr. Werner, is a homeless middle-aged incel type who uploads videos to Instagram, many of them. He used to upload tons to YouTube, all under one minute mostly, of him complaining that he can't get a girlfriend. He's truly bizarre. He uses democratic socialist rhetoric because he thinks Gen Z are mostly uber leftist, calls them bigots, says if you don't introduce him to quote unquote young honeys, then you're not his friend. He thinks he's a genuine civil rights-esque movement against his perceived oppression from the Gen Z honeys. <laughs> he believes that as you age, the DNA strands, telomeres, get longer. And when they lengthen, he believes it strengthens middle-aged people, aka Gen X's, DNA. So he and his generation should procreate with Gen Z honeys. <laughs> yes, seriously, I'm not joking. He also thinks that Gen Z men are hoarding Gen Z women by the half dozen. No, I'm not joking. He thinks Generation Z men are as virile as me. <laughs> oh no, don't be silly. The list goes on. He's a weirdo. Oh, and did I mention he likes to create his own memes, his own may maze? Let's take a look, shall we? First up is his Instagram profile. Lucas Werner, depletion of telomerase if mom not in 18 to 24 year age range and dad not in 35 to 55 year old age range. Highest points of reproductive cell telomerase. Ah, yeah, I know, I know. Ah, sad, very sad. You're a hypocritical generation, Gen Z. Classist and age phobic, greedy to a fault. Congratulations, you're a bigot generation twice over. Prove me otherwise. Hook me with a hot 18 year old Gen Z chick. Or it's my dirty mouth, N-word. This is Lucas trying to guilt the younger ladies into bed with him whilst using the N-word because he's down with the kids, yo. Now that I know that certain words annoy you, I'm going to keep using those words until you obey. Share the bitches, nigga. Generation Z. Or I'm going to keep using the foul fucking language. Oh, does it hurt you? Good! Fuck the establishment, bitch! I know about the high 
The cunt points of reproductive telomerase in Gen Z eggs and Gen X seed for the greater health of baby DNA. I'll quit the foul language when I'm dating Generation Z. Hook it up, N-word. We shall overspood. Oh, so now he's here acting like a petulant child, threatening to not stop using the N-word until he gets some young booty. Charming fella, isn't he? Yeah, I'm not gonna go ahead and read that. You, ladies and gents, make of that what you will. Make of that what you will. F you, classists. You said you were left wing, N-word. Share of thy bitches. <laughs> Share of thy bitches! <laughs> My answer, sir, is no. The quote-unquote bitches, aka the wenches, belong to one person. Me, Lord Bear, the Alpha and Omega, packer of the package, smasher of back doors, and slapper of the booty. Why would any lady go with your tired, greasy, slicked-back, middle-aged, under-a-bridge living ass when they can have me? <laughs> <laughs> we love you, N-words and bitches, and good night. I've got nothing, folks, honestly. What does one say? Um, oh, 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 I know, I know. I bet you have thick, smelly knob cheese, Lucas. <laughs> um, Gen Z, the only reason I'm trolling you is so you'll invite me to meet gorgeous single women. If it's classism, ageophobia, and your selfishness keeping me out, I'm going to remind you that you're left wing until you open the damn door and let me in. We need bitches, N-word. In this picture, he looks like he's about to kill a small squirrel, doesn't he? He looks like he's about to buy a mixed slushy after having spent all day begging. He looks like an incel about to commit... No, 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 I better not. Monetization, Lord Bear. Monetization. <laughs> Babe, babes, all Gen Z women, your leftist misming wrong. I was born in 1979. I'm literally, literally living outside homeless. As opposed to not living outside homeless, of course. Age phobia, classism. I'm not quitting until I'm dating Gen Z. Well, don't give it up, I suppose. Imagine believing that this is what left-wing politics is all about. Guilting younger women into bed with your smelly ass. Left-wing politics is actually about taxing... Taxes theft. My wealth to spend it on the poor in the name of equality. Filthy leftists. You'd all have equality if you just accepted me into your lives. You would all be poor together, in harmony. Why won't Gen Z treat Gen X people who want to date Gen Z with the same respect as Gen Z people who want to date Gen Z? What are you, Gen Z? A generation of bigots? I'm getting really tired of your crap, Lucas. And we haven't even started on the videos yet. Gen Z people say N-word all the time. It's not like social media conservatives are going to stop Zoomers from saying N-word. But if you don't self-censor post blocked by these fascists, Free the N-word. Somebody needs to call the police on this chap, don't they? If he hasn't been beaten up yet, he's not far off from it, I think. Not that I condone violence, of course. Free speech, but, um... Freedom from consequence, sir, you do not possess. <laughs> You're not me. Don't be silly. <laughs> oh, thank God we're done with the memes. I thought memes were supposed to be funny. None of that was funny. I actually feel like I need some sort of massage after that. Okay, let's just power through these videos, shall we? Now that I know that certain words annoy you, I'm going to keep using those words until you obey. Share the bitches, nigga. Generation Z. Or I'm going to keep using the foul fucking language. Oh, does it hurt you? Good. Fuck the establishment. Bitch! Mind your language, sir! Even I don't use such foul tripe to speak to the peasants, you know. Tell me, perchance, why does this real-life troll, who actually does live under a bridge, think anyone will obey him and exchange him to stop using the N-word? 
Does he think the world will be heavily impacted by it? Does he think someone isn't going to slap him across the chop soon? Because I can foresee it, as it was told in the scrolls. Lucas Werner will fall. Fall over into a muddy puddle! <laughs> Yes, that's right, ladies and gents, he just licked roll-on deodorant. Ladies, tell me, gents, too, is this something we're supposed to do? Is this attractive? Gents, have you tried this? Did it work? I mean, I'm not licking anything that's meant to block Lucas's scent. I imagine it tastes something akin to bleach and mummy issues. Cheese, peroxide, and what I would imagine turkey poo tastes like. Merry Christmas, gobble gobble! <laughs> Yo, I don't know, Gen Z bitches. I call you bitches. If you're not gonna come and eat a Subway sandwich with me, you're gonna try that friend zony crap. Y'all, some bigot bitches. Nigga! I'm just gonna sit and eat a Subway sandwich on Monday. You can come and join me, but I'm not doing that friend zony crap. You are on a date with me when you eat a sandwich with me. Otherwise, you're the bitch. Bigots. Listen, I'm Gen X, you're Gen Z. If you're gonna be bigots, I'm gonna call you bitches. Nigga! I get the feeling that if Lucas had his way, he would be assigned a state-funded, state-issued girlfriend. He's awfully entitled, isn't he? So, in his mind, you're a bigot unless you're introducing him to the younger ladies. Um, hey Lucas, have you considered giving up, matey? Maybe getting yourself off the street, having a shave, a haircut, and a shower? Learning to aim when you tinkle, and maybe, you know, not being terrible? Then maybe you might find love, matey. Give up on this bizarre fixation with Gen Z! Lovely ladies come in all shapes and sizes and age. Legal ages of consent in America, of course. You bloody pest! I don't really know what to say to you, Generation Z. You know I have a lot to offer. You know I kick it with the gay community. Um, most of my friends aren't even white. But I got no problem with white people. You know I'm a good conversationalist. You know I'm friendly and I'm kind. And I hook people up with food. And I sit there and make conversation with them. And get to know people. You know... Um, I care about people that are on the street, even though I'm on the street. You know, I'm respectful towards others. You know, I've lost a lot of weight and then I'm attractive. You know that I'm normally pretty humble and good natured. You know that I'm funny. You know that I'm interesting. I design board games. You know that I'm trying hard to get a job and I've posted information on how I'm going back to school and I was doing well at school. I'm uh, trying to get an apartment. I think I found one for myself that might be about five fifty a month. And if I get a job, it would work out pretty well. But every Monday, I get my check. We could just go meet at Subway downtown and, you know, get some sandwiches and hang out. People are down there hanging out and whatever. You could come to my Instagram or my Facebook and come and talk to me. But I don't really have a lot to say to you right now, Gen Z. Tell one of you is my girlfriend. You're just a generation of bigoted bitches. Why, oh why, won't the ladies flock to me? 
Why? It's like listening to Eastern Europeans when they first discovered NWA in 2015 with this guy, isn't it? Can you imagine being a middle-aged man and doing this kind of thing? It's no wonder you're always getting kicked out of homeless shelters for creepy behavior. Lucas wants you to know that he's not a bigot. And therefore, this makes him desirable, guys. Not like he addresses an entire generation as all the same. Constantly calls all the ladies of Gen Z very negative things when he doesn't get his way. Uses the N-word, holding it hostage to get what he wants. Oh, and by the way, your boy Lucas, he's used that word in anger a few. Why? Oh, why did you make me do this, Alex? Why? You get to have all the fun, meanwhile I get this dumpster fire. He doesn't even have any funny quotes, other than, Share the bitches, yo! Which did tickle me somewhat, I must admit, but, uh, yeah. But as I said, peasants, go and watch Alex's video on this guy, or come to Alex's live streams on Twitch, where he sometimes talks about him. Link in the description, and as always, BUY MY MERCH! Otherwise, I'll send Lucas to hide underneath your beds. Also, like and subscribe, and if you don't, the same applies. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Lord Bear, and I'll see you next time. Better not be Lucas next time, Alex. Cheerio!